Hey guys, Teacher Pals here, and we have another game of the World Championship. But first, uh, it has been a while since I put up the last video, uh, and I kind of left you guys hanging a little bit. Uh, I did make it to the next stage. We are now in stage 5 out of 7, but I'm no longer part of that. We are down to 48 players, and I didn't make it in the last round. But there's a ton of great games in this round again. And I, like uh, last last season of the World Championship, I want to cover some of these games once again. Uh, and the first one will be um, will be from... I don't want to show the results. It's going to be from the lower 8, so we have upper bracket and a lower bracket. You can see like, some of these, like our group number 8 already finished um, so we're going to take a look at one of those games it's going to be a four player match um, so let's hop right in so here we are we have uh, first player eske then we have suv traumaton and rosnich once again um, so let's take a quick look at the leaders and wonders so what do we have but in four players we of course have one of each extra so also, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on a lot of leaders a lot of wonders now we see Bach we see Darwin H3 we have Pierre we have Bill Gates Steve Jobs Fleming and Hollywood Chaplin as well Manhattan Project Suez is here so colonies can be even more important than they are already all right so Eska took Aristotle, Zuhuf is going to take Engineering Genius, Traumaton takes Hammurabi and uh, Stonehenge, and then last but not least Wozniach is going to take Boudicca, Richland and a Stockpile all for himself, and that will conclude HA so to speak. Eska starts into H1. He still needs a wonder. He will take the pyramids. Good combo with Aristotle. Builds a mine. And that's going to be it for now. Obviously, you don't have to relate to Aristotle yet. There's no technologies to be grabbed yet. Alex gets picked by Zuhuf. We have the Roman roads. So Alex elected, which is uh, interesting. Uh, going for Alex first instead of building the mine means he can finish the Roman roads next turn with the engineering genius. But he won't be producing extra rocks this turn already. Traumaton goes to Amurabi, builds that mine, increases pop, grabs an urban growth, and patriotism. Mm, patriotism, not the biggest fan. I think I would have liked cultural heritage a little bit more. Bosniac is going to go for Boudicca, is going to build a mine, increase pop. Grab the Hanging Gardens instead of the Acropolis, okay, but I, I won't argue with that. These All of these players made it further than I did, so let's see what they can bring and how it will turn out. Eske goes for Monarchy, builds another lab, so with that early science he's gonna get from Aristotle, can go for early Monarchy, I like that quite a lot. So Hoof is gonna use Alex Conquest and just finish that Roman Roads. Very healthy yellow bank, a lot of food. Uh, also, now he's got the extra rock production. Um, the extra rock production, so he's up to three. Traumaton builds another lab, grabs the first copy of Knights, increases population, grabs a rich land, and can indeed build one stage of the Stonehenge. All right. Next up. Wozniach is gonna push, we get our first development, and it is Warfare. Not everybody can take that, I think. Traumaton is gonna have some issues. I mean, there might be more developments that give him extra food or pop, and then he can do that. Um, so who can take it and ask uh, same problem as Traumaton. So Wozniach now grabs himself an alchemy, will build on the Hanging Gardens. So can build Maybe an alchemy next turn. Eske will open the development of markets. With this, he can just take the food and the free warrior. Yeah, he does that. Grabs an iron for himself and starts building on the pyramids. So next turn, he can finish pyramids and go for the monarchy. He will have a lot of civil actions, which could also result in a lot of science with Aristotle. So who also goes for the warrior, can increase population, build a lab. Grabs irrigation, could have even built the extra mine, but he's fine for now, staying on three rock production. 
and he's going to get even more food. <laughs> Still that yellow bank. With Alex and the Roman Worlds, of course, two extra yellow cubes help a lot with that uh, with that bank. Dramaton also takes the Priroria, builds on the Stonehenge, goes for Knights and Michelangelo. Very interesting. I like Michelangelo and the Brendan Circus. We're going to see some early culture production with Michael. Sadly, not the St. Pete's and the Hanging Gardens finished by Wozniak. We'll still build the extra lab, okay, and grab a breakthrough. Could have not grabbed the breakthrough, go for alchemy and just upgrade one. But he decides he still wants the second one anyway. Um, and he will do that this turn. Eskenau will finish the pyramids, as we said. Grabs a breakthrough. He is gonna go for monarchy. And grabs Universita, so one wonder is finished, immediately takes another one. And still has the iron, so his setup's very, very strong here, I feel. Suhoof pushes, we get another development. Politics, everybody is gonna draw three cards. Genghis Khan picked up, so does he have a tactic? He will build another warrior, so that's probably, yeah, there it is. The heavy calf. And it can increase population, so 7 strength for him. He's going to start generating 3 culture every turn. And I don't think anybody's going to contest that. Traumaton opens development of science. There's a masonry here. Is he going to go for that with a stone edge? He goes for... Galangelo goes for the masonry. We'll develop that. Finish the stone edge. And grab the... Red wall immediately. He still will build that knight, and he has the according tactic, the medieval army, so six strength for him. Um, obviously, not the greatest combo, knights plus great wall, but the great wall here, pretty pretty good with uh, Michelangelo grabbing that toward just one civil action, and of course, having the masonry will save some steps. But first, he will need some rocks. He's still sitting on three rock production. And the Great Wall is relatively expensive. Orzniach now goes for Code of Laws. Shows his tactic, which is also the Phalanx. But he has no knights. He will build a warrior with three rocks from Boudica. Increased population. That's gonna be it. So no alchemy this turn. But he can still go for it later on. Esker. Opens development of civil life. Maybe go for the iron. No, he doesn't want to go for the iron. He grabs swordsman, theology. All of these, of course, bringing him one science from Aristotle. Then he will go for the legion, going up to seven, uh, six strength. And grabs Nostradamus. Will elect him so that he's no longer... Well, he wasn't the weakest, but now he's uh, the unweakest, if, if you will. Not the strongest, though. That is still a Zuhoof. We will push. Our last development is planning. And what are these guys going to plan? Uh, settlement, religion, crafts. So maybe population or maybe the religion. And Zuhoof indeed, indeed takes the religion. Then he's going to build that third mine finally. Going to grab swordsmen for himself. And develop them. Builds an extra swordsman, okay. And upgrades one. He probably, I think he pushed quite a few. Maybe just one card here, I'm not sure. Oh no, he's green, right? He pushed at least two cards, so these are probably strength events. And he wants to make sure that he is going to be the strongest. Because that is quite an investment, but because he was already the strongest. He could have just gone for the irrigation, maybe. To expect some cool cards. First one, not so cruel, good harvest, two food for everybody. Compton goes up to 10 strength with the extra knight. Perhaps alchemy can develop that and actually even save rocks here thanks to the masonry. So masonry is doing some good work. Still not enough to go for the Great Wall at the moment. Rosniach is the weakest here by quite a bit, but he does get the knights. He can develop them. He once again gets extra rocks on Boudicca. Boudicca actually have been, has been doing quite a lot. Gave four extra rocks for military. And of course, uh, I, I assume science or something 
while he wasn't the weakest. So pretty good outcome for that um, for that booty cup. And then also Joan of Arc and another warrior. So 14 strength now from Wozniak. Making him the strongest. And actually Eska is now the weakest. Uh, everybody here going for quite a lot of strength. Eska grabs Engineering Genius. That fits nicely with his uh, Universitas. And then he will go for two upgrades on those Swordsmen. Now he's an 11 strength when determining the weaker player. So he's no longer the weakest. Which is now... Suhoof or Traumaton. On Suhoof's turn, of course, that would be Traumaton, but he can't or doesn't want to push. Goes for Warfare. Even more Strength. Also an Alchemy. And probably two upgrades here, going up to 13, but not enough to become the strongest. That is still gonna be... Oh, no. I take that back. He really wants to be the strongest. Goes for another Swordsman. Uh, giving him 15 Strength now. I see some problem arising when the end of the age comes before the next turn. He will lose two yellow cubes, so I didn't expect him to use the last population to build another military unit. And it's going to be quite interesting how we can handle that. Iron for Traumaton. And then another knight, 12 strength. Goes for the iron, can't upgrade yet. Osniac sees the top card, doesn't push, maybe can't push, who knows. We'll finally go for that uh, alchemy and even another one. So four science production for him now. And still 40 strength. As we go into H2, a lot of strength from everybody really. And uh, not that many events yet. Nobody wanted to push, maybe nobody could push, because all the military actions were used for building military. Eskenau grabs Baron Circus, goes for an iron. Can go for that one Baron Circus, which produces, uh, which gives him the happy faces. And with the urban growth, they didn't cost too much. Has to build another Roria so that he's. Uh, Gonna go up to 10 strength plus 3. And actually an aggression by Zuhoof. I mean, that was the only card in his hand and he tries to go for it, but Traumaton can defend. And Zuhoof will grab a Theology, which, yeah, I guess uh, that worked out nicely, that he didn't have to destroy anything, because uh, he could just upgrade the Theology. Not the greatest tech, but he, in this case, better than destroying anything. Traumaton will indeed have to destroy something to build the Berlin Circus. Upgrade one mine, still far away from finishing that great wall, so Michelangelo not doing that much, has just grabbed one wonder, but of course he's producing a little bit of culture, actually three culture at this point, one from Stonehenge, two from that Berlin Circus. Wozniak will push, we get wealthy territory, and Wozniak is going to take it himself, for just a warrior and a card. He can copy a different tactic to stay on 11 strength, destroy some might to go for an extra knight, so he's going gonna go up to 15 again. And grabs himself a coal and an irrigation. Has the rich land, has a lot of rocks thanks to that colony, and can maybe go for coal next turn. But definitely didn't want to be the weakest, and now we finally start to see some roots bearing from the strength. We get the border conflict. So who is going to get three, uh, three rocks? Trumpton is going to lose um, a building. As they can upgrade another mine. Has rich land, urban growth. Yeah, finally things are coming together nicely. He can finish the Universitas next turn with the Engineering Genius and upgrade the last mine. And then in the following turn he can maybe go for the scientific method. Uh, he still needs food. But uh, science and rocks will look pretty good soon. Uncertain Borders, another strength event. So Zuhoof is going to get quite a bit now, finally. It has taken some time, but uh, strength events uh, are coming out. Uh, first the Uncertain Borders, and now uh, I have first the Border Conflict, and now the Uncertain Borders. So extra Yellow Cube and three rocks. It's going to help him quite, quite a lot upgrading here his mines. 
Not just the one takes an engineering, engineering genius as well. And now Traumaton is gonna push. We get Pestilence. So he will have to destroy something. Oh, he had to, had to destroy something and now also lost the population. Um, and he lost a yellow cube. So a tough turn of events here for Traumaton. But he does get a selective breeding. He has reserves. So maybe next time he can finish the Great Wall. Sunfig Breakthrough, that's very nice for especially Wozniak and Zahoof. A little bit early for Eska, I think. And Republic from Wozniak, that's very strong. Getting the extra science immediately going for that Republic. Has John of Arc at the moment, so has an extra military action. Making this, uh, making this Republic worthwhile. Did have corruption here, yeah, did have corruption, couldn't go for the coal this turn, uh, but I decided the Republic was more important, better use for science at the moment. Crusades, Rosniach actually now being uh, the weakest player, I guess he had to destroy something, yeah, he lost one population as everybody did to that, uh, uh, to that, um, you know, the event, uh, what's it called again? I can't find it. Uh, where, where, where does it? Uh, here, because of population loss, it doesn't even tell us. Pestilence, ah, there it is. You guys probably think I'm stupid. Pestilence here, he loses uh, one population, has to disband the, the warriors for it. Finally found it. Uh, so everybody, of course, has to do that, but Wozniak became the weakest player because of it. Eska will upgrade the last mine actually decides not to finish the universitas wants the cannon and the wave instead all right so who is up next still the strongest knowledge of the ancients a lot of science and two extra rocks for some of these guys so who is going to upgrade one more mine is down to two mines as well it's going to also go for alchemy he doesn't have a lot of civil actions at the moment, so this is going to be all for his turn. And then Traumaton opens Barians. Zuhuf has the most culture, but he's obviously not the weakest or among the two weakest. He is the strongest indeed. And finally we get the Great Wall by Traumaton and immediately grabs another Wonder, um, which I like. Yeah, Using Michelangelo here, probably want to replace him soon. Even though he's giving a nice nice bunch of culture but getting the kremlin here is very good if he gets the rocks together to finish it wasn't gets james watt that is very good he has coal in his hand so we're probably gonna see that he first of all wants to go up to 15 strength again and then goes for what goes for the coal can upgrade one Goes for Warfare and upgrades another one, of course. These are reduced cost for the coal, only four to upgrade, thanks to James Watt. And then there is still two selective breeding, so these will also be reduced cost with James Watt. Um, so, yeah, I like that. After going for the Republic, now going to try and fix his production and even becoming the strongest. But we get developed territory up next. Eska is going to get it very cheaply for just a swordsman. Can go for cannon. Maybe can use this nicely to transition to defensive army. Perhaps navigation. We'll develop that. Is he going to finally... Yeah, he's going to finish the Universitas. Still has the wave. Oh, shows the tactic quite early. Um, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of that, especially if it's fortifications. This now means uh, the last two cannons are high priority, I would Im uh, imagine, for the other guys. So Hoof is gonna go for Pact, the promise of military protection. So Hoof is gonna get four extra strength. I mean, Hoof didn't need military protection. Uh, this military that he's gained now is more to stay or become the strongest once again. Protect his culture that he's gaining from Genghis Khan. Uh, loses one culture production. Um, so he's down to zero once again. And actually gonna build another swordsman. So 25 strength. And then he grabs himself the Eiffel Tower. Interesting. Eiffel Tower, very expensive. He has the engineering genius. 
25 strength is starting to look dangerous for the other guys. National Prize, uh, National Pride, five more culture to the Hooves Bank. And then Traumaton is gonna go for Select Breeding, upgrades one, grabs Napoleon. Will replace Michelangelo going up to 19 strength and frugality. Still only three rock production, that is an issue for Traumaton. Wozniacz will open the strategic territory. Eska just went for that uh, navigation, so he's going to win this for just a swordsman. And has to put a card in as well. But of course, that's very nice for Eska being able to transition. Getting rid of that swordsman. And then next turn, I guess he still has no good population. Maybe he's going to go for sewers. But uh, whatever population he gains, if it goes away for the colonies from the swordsman, and he can rebuild them as cannons... That, of course, is the dream. Wozniacz, another dream for him. He gets the railroad. Um, if he doesn't invest into anything else, he can finish that next turn. Gonna double one of the mine productions. Then he will have nine rock production. Very strong. Grabs a breakthrough. Grabs architecture. And I guess cavalrymen. Yeah. 16 strength, a little bit dangerous. Um, of course, the great part about Railroad is he also get 5 strength, so he would be sitting at 20, 21. There could be a war by Zahoof. I'm really interested to see how Zahoof is going to use the extra strength that he gained from Eska and the extra swordsman. Vast territory won by Eska. This is very strong now. He gets the vast territory for one swordsman. Has a very good yellow bank now. Gets the uh, Suez Canal and can maybe even with the wave, yeah, use the wave, build one cannon, going up to 18 strength, and has enough to finish the Suez Canal next turn. Already has three colonies. He's hopefully going to get another one with the Suez, so he's going to go up to 10 rock production. Uh, so him and Wozniacz will have a ton of rocks, while Zahoof at 4 production, Tromten at 3. These two guys might get some issues later on. Eske is looking mighty fine. So Hoof now has to make something out of his military. He tries to go for an aggression. Or does go for an aggression, but it fails. The plunder is not successful. Wozniacz will defend. So Hoof goes to Republic. Can develop it. That is a start at least. Cannons, very important. He can't transition that nicely into... Um, the fortifications because he has so many so many swordsmen so he's gonna fall for the Khan curse maybe because James Khan will not stay much longer Traumaton grabs strategy urn growth I mean yeah going up to four rocks I think probably not enough Rosniac now goes for architecture can't finish that Railroad, grab selective breeding, and a rifleman. So he's setting up nicely for, for any military that might come his way. I mean, of course, he's still missing the cannon. Eska now gets the sewers, and he has enough colony, and it's vast territory from H2. So his yellow bank is crazy now. He has 10 rock production and an insane yellow bank. What is he going to do with that? Increase population once, and once again. Yeah, civil actions still are okay. I mean, not as great as some of the others now, but he still has monarchy plus the uh, pyramids. So that is okay, at least. So who has another aggression, and this time it will be successful. Can steal five signs from Wozniacz. Go for the selective breeding. Can upgrade one and two. Yeah, if only he could have gone for another mine at some point. Maybe he can still do it later on. He has to copy the uh, Legion here because of Jenks Khan will be gone after this turn. So he will be stuck with no leader for now. H3 will start. Nostradamus gets discarded. Jenks Khan is gone. Theology and Patriotism as well. And Traumaton. Goes and opens the emigration of Wozniacz. Two, uh, one discontent worker, so you will lose that. So a couple of bad events for Wozniacz. He was looking very strong. But I think now I like Eska's position even more with the 10 rocks with the great yellow bank. 
was near ch just lost five science and one population to the uh, emigration. So a couple of rough politics for him. Traumaton goes for an ambitious library, I would say. I don't know if he has the rocks to sustain that. I mean, he also doesn't have science. Maybe, maybe he should have just gone for another iron and then grab the conmon and go for the conmon next turn, something like that. This feels dangerous. We will see, we will see. Wozniacz uh, opens developed territory, another one for Esker. Esker's gonna get it for just one cannon and a card. And then, ooh, Wozniacz can skip the selected breeding, go for mechanized agriculture immediately. Upgrade both of those. These upgrades are so cheap from two to four, so two rocks to invest to get mechanized agriculture. So he will have a lot of food now. Do we have the red cross? I didn't see it. No, no red cross, so the extra food is not going to be worth all that much. But of course, new population is going to be great always. Well, Nietzsche goes for religion, goes to organized religion to upgrade. Get the happy faces under control. Esk is gonna go for Darwin, giving him a little bit more reach for the movies here, for example. Builds another cannon and another cannon. Develops movies. Interesting. Going for the movies here. Um, I, I, I kind of would have liked to see the scientific method. Uh, we're starting to get into H3 technologies and select. Uh, scientific methods if he just went for one less cannon he still would have been not the weakest and he could have invested into the scientific methods to get more science production but um, i guess i can see this as well trying to be the strongest uh, almost oh and a new pact from the hoof so Hoof will go for international trade agreement this of course cancels his pact that he had before with esker so no more extra strength for the hoof no more extra culture for Esker, but one more rock production for Zahoof and one food for Traumaton. And then Zahoof will go for Robespierre, who could go for democracy. He grabs that, goes for the revolution with Robespierre, and grabs patriotism. So not bad. Six culture production. Five rock production now, also not too bad. Has quite a lot of rocks in the bank. Freedom of movement. That is a Good thing for Traumaton, I think. Yeah, he went into the journalism. Where did he go from? From agriculture. Okay, okay. Feels like he has enough food. I guess the extra one food doesn't do all that much. I could have also seen from alchemy to journalism. Okay, okay. Then he grabs cannon. Military build-up, that's very strong. He's still struggling so much with his uh, civil actions. He will go for the strategy, meaning he spends most of his science on that. Um, and with mo most of the science gone, how is he going to get any extra civil actions? And I don't think you can play four players from this position with four civil actions. It's going to be tough at least. Maybe he can show us how to do it. Bosniac, going to go for another lab. Grabs computers. Grabs air forces and satellites. A ton of technologies in his hand. Could even be good to go for the Steve Jobs, maybe. Steve Jobs, computers, go for a lot of these cheap technologies. Could be strong. Esker opens economic progress. So with nine rocks for Wozniacz, seven for Esker. Esker now doesn't have any more blue cubes. It probably would have produced more rocks if he had more blue cubes. And then not all that much for the other two guys. But we see one movies. We see another movie. Military theory. Engineering genius. And then maybe those reserves. Yeah. We also got oil on the deck and Bill Gates. Wozniacz maybe looking out for those. Can anybody else go for Bill Gates? Who could? We'll go for the Eiffel Tower here. He could go for Bill Gates. I mean, Robert Spear is not really doing anything anymore. He has got the best uh, government there is. He's not going to go for another revolution. He has extra military action. So you don't go stay on Robert Spear for the one military action. I mean, he could get Bill Gates. I think that would be great. Go for Bill Gates, increase pop, 
and go for one more alchemy. Um, I guess he doesn't have the selection for that anymore, but he didn't need to go for the Rifleman. I guess Eska is giving some issues with 29 strength, so Suhoof wants to go and upgrade his Rifleman. Okay, but Bill Gates would... Like, the idea would be Bill Gates and one more alchemy, you go up to um, 8 rock production. Would been would been pretty strong, but he goes for the tanks instead. Okay. 15 food. Maybe overdid a little bit with the food. Traumaton opens Cold War. He and Esk will get more science. Great for them. Can Traumaton go for Bill Gates? Uh, he is fixated on his military and not anything else. Patriotism for three civil agents when you only have four is very expensive. It needs a new government. Maybe you should have just grabbed fundamentalism here, try to set up any kind of uh, revolution for that. And he reveals his deck, which is the mobile artillery, so 27 strength. And I think fundamentalism would have not been bad. Even if you don't go for the revolution next turn, just go for it normally. Oh, see, Wozniak, he will go for Bill Gates. He has grabbed the computers already. So, he doesn't want just a mega 10. No, 16, 18 rock production from Bill Gates and the uh, Cobalt Plus Railroad. 18 rocks. He's still the weakest, so if somebody wants to hurt him, they should do it now. He's gonna get dangerous very, very quickly. Eska goes for all, but yeah, at this point it's probably too late. Rosniach has too many rocks in his in his bank. So Eska goes against Zuhuf. Goes for military theory. Can go for two more cannons if he wants to. One and two. 45 strength. Perhaps multimedia. Patriotism. And that's gonna be it. So how's, how's the culture looking? Yeah, Rosniach is behind. He has insane production of everything now. Science, food, rocks, but not culture yet. Does he have any culture? He has an opera, so maybe next time he can start building three operas. That would, uh, would help with the culture. But for now, I mean, he also has to worry about strength. That's the thing. Ooh. And now Iconoclasm hits. Robespierre, Napoleon, and Darwin gone. Bill Gates, of course, is from H3, so he can stay. So who can increase pop twice. He has patriotism here. He has a cannon. Can go for two of those. Does he have positional army? Does he have any tactic? Doesn't look like it. No tactic. That's that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. So he will lose this war quite quite heavily. Trompton. We'll finally get some extra civil actions from the civil service. Can go for Pierre. Destroy a warrior to build another cannon. 28 strength. Can't elect Pierre at the moment. Yeah, sure. At least he finally gets the civil service. So finally some extra civil actions. Um, I like that. Still, I, I also said I like the Kremlin when he grabbed it. But it turns out... He never had the rocks to finish that, so he didn't get the extra civil action from there, but now he finally got at least two extra ones. Arms industry gives, uh, yeah, relatively fairly. So Hoof and Traumaton get the most, which is good for them because they are very low on rocks. Wozniak gets one and Esker gets one. Not like Wozniak really cares about that too much. Gets the mana project. 13 extra strength and 15 culture. This is super good for him. Also just finished in one civil action because of the because of the architecture. And what else will he do? Increases pop. Increase pop again. And go for one uh, air force. So 38 means he probably can defend. So Esk is not going to try an aggression. I would imagine, but still was it not going for any extra culture. So time is running out for him. Eska now with 78 culture. Eska opens the refugees. More population for him, more culture and more trouble for Zuhu for losing population as well as culture. 
Fleming now, so Eska is gonna go full on culture production. 18 culture production for Eska here, grabs air forces. So he's both, he's producing a lot of culture and he's super dangerous, so he can go for war and go for two air forces with the reserves, patriotism. Um, yeah, he is looking very, very good. The only one who can contest this is probably Wozniacz. Zuhuf will go for the international tourism with Eska. So Zuhuf is going to get three extra culture production and, uh, and Eska is going to get two. I like this move by Zuhuf. Um, you could say, why go with Eska? He's the, he's the best anyway. Why give him more culture? Well, Zuhuf is never going to beat Eska. So that is the correct move. Get as much culture for him as possible. Eska had no reason not to take this deal because he knows so who is not never gonna reach him in culture anyway. So this is mostly Zuhuf trying to gain some culture over Traumaton. And then Zuhuf can go for another cannon. Another rifleman. Does he have tactic now? Maybe. Perhaps reserves. Fast food chains and endowment of the arts. Interesting that he skips the revolutionary idea. Very interesting indeed. Traumaton goes for peace. Peace with Rosniac, okay. Probably expected Eska to not take the peace deal. And then he will go for another cannon. And another cannon. 41 strength, air forces. Still not going for Pierre, and why? And that's a little bit weird. I don't understand. Maybe it's, I'm not seeing something. Like the extra cannon, did you really need that? I guess 41 strength makes him stronger than Wozniacz. He has a pistol with him now anyway. I guess maybe. Maybe he wants to go for Wog and Suhoof. Wozniacz now finally also realizing, okay, I need culture, so... How about I build three operas in one turn? That seems like a good way to produce culture. Also gonna take the democracy, so make that four operas next turn. Increase again, go for the satellite. So he's gonna have some real, really strong impacts. And now also with 12 culture production. I think that could get a close uh, race to the finish line, even though Eska has 40 culture lead. Might also depend on the wonders. Esk is gonna get Hollywood. Hollywood with Fleming movies and um, multimedia. It's gonna be a big, big Hollywood. How many wonders do we have left? This next turn is probably gonna be the last. We have United Nations, and that's the last wonder. So Suhoof, no, he has one. Traumaton also has one. He has the Kremlin. Might be gone before his next turn. Uh, but maybe Wozniacz won't get the United Nations, and then he can't get another wonder. So where will he spend his rocks at? It's the last multimedia that's going to be gone. Okay, okay. So Wozniacz is probably hoping for the United Nations, I would guess. So Hoof is going to go for military theory. He's going to grab Iron um, Growth, and that means... Okay, I can copy the... Fortifications, 32. Are we going to see a war between Traumaton and Zuhuf? Yes. Traumaton goes war of culture against Zuhuf. And go for air forces. Patriotism. Destroy his mine. Both mines, actually. And build two air forces. Oh, no. Build, build a knight and an air force. Did he have enough? Oh, I guess I miscalculated. Yeah. Yeah, I think he had 9 plus 4 from the Patriotism, so he only had uh, one rock missing to go for another Air Force. Still gonna go up to 59, actually. Still not going for... This is a mistake. This is a mistake. You don't go for Brain Circus. For the one strength, you go for Pierre. Pierre, You can't use Pierre now if you do this, because uh, he will be too late to get the 8 extra culture, and he will produce 2. Um, so I'm pretty sad to see P Pierre picked up and then just not elected so that he can't even go for the Olympic Games. Uh, so instead of the last... Unless he did some really calculated math and he came to the conclusion that Zuhuf would reach 58 exactly, then the one extra strength me means quite a lot. 
any other scenario, you should go for Pierre and get the 8 culture next turn. So now Wozniak, he will be able to get the United Nations. We get inhabited territory. Eske is going to take another one of these colonies. And then Wozniak can go for democracy, goes to the United Nations. Goes for more food. So I, I will probably get United Nations for 16 and then a bit of agriculture. Balance 4, 8, 0, and 30. <laughs> 30 from Impact of Balance. That is one of the most balanced civilizations I've ever seen. 30. Wow. And um, keep in mind, he can go for this one again. He now got it with United Nations and he can push that into the deck again. This blew the game wide out. I mean, obviously not for the Hoover and Traumaton, but now it's super close between Eske and Wozniak. Um, Wozniak making one Wonder United Nations almost 50 culture. Ahead of Eska, or let's say 40 culture. Um, wow, that's a big impact of balance. No infantry picked up. That's gonna be it. Oh, wow. What can Eska do now? Eska still has a big Hollywood. But we start into H4 now. One more turn for our, all of these guys. We get. Patriotism, Canon, one more movie, and then Hollywood for 42, which is also not bad, Mr. Eske. But is it going to be enough? We will find out. We see air forces developed. And yeah, he, don't, he doesn't fix his uh, balance. I guess there was no way. I mean, if he had extra rocks, he could have built an extra farm. That would mean two more for the Implant of Balance. Because we can know pretty certainly that Wozniak is going to put in the Implant of Balance with his last turn. Implant of Wonders, 14, 8, 9, and 12. He's now with 205. But don't rule out Wozniak. He's got the Wonder. Uh, he's got the Wonder. He's already got the Wonder. He will have the uh, input of balance and he's gonna of course get the extra culture from Bill Gates and 20 rocks on the bank. The Hoof now. I mean we get a close match between the Hoof and Traumatin here as well. Don't forget there is an ongoing war here, war of culture. I mean the Hoof probably can't finish his um his wonder. Can go for a revolutionary idea if he needs that. Can increase pop, pop, pop just try. Just try. Okay. Cannon. 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 And build a religion. 47, but no new tag. Yeah, if he had a new tag, this would make this a lot closer. If he had, for example, for example, precision army would have been great. Wouldn't have to destroy so much. Or even entrenchments. He's fulfilling three entrenchments. But he's only got two, uh, three fortifications, so that's uh, uh, 12 strength missing here. That would exactly put him on 59. Uh, so maybe Trompton has entrenchments uh, in his hand and knows the hoof doesn't have it. Uh, because if if there were, was a new tactic, the hoof could have beat him. But like this, the Trompton is going to steal 17, making it relatively close. Tries another aggression, but the hoof can defend this one, so it stays close. Traumaton goes for Pierre, but a sad Pierre, because he can't go for his, his beloved Olympic Games. He's actually going to have starvation and a super bad input of balance, so it could get real. It's really undecided between Zuhuv and Traumaton for third place, and also still very close and undecided between Esk and Wozniak. And this all comes down to the impacts in the end. Wozniak now pushes something, which is probably going to be the input of balance. Um, but first we get the input of competition. 13, 18, 17, and 6. So really good for Eske. And in the battle between the Hoof and Traumaton, not much changes. Wozniak can destroy... Go for... Pro Sports. Maybe there's a bit of happiness. 
can increase population again. Could go for another drama. Let's try the religion. Plus another computer and another drama. So, improv. There's a lot of great impacts for him. Let's see which ones he got in there. I think we only got five impacts. Because there's an H2 card on top. First one is government. 18, 20, 16, and 20. So, yeah, slightly more for Wozniak and quite a bit more for Zuhoof. So, Zuhoof is gaining on Traumaton. Next up, we have technology. 16, 28 from Wozniak. 12 and 8. So, again, the points he gained, Zuhoof loses again. And we're getting closer here between Wozniak and Eske. Next up is Science 10, 15, 5, and 0. So, Zuhoof is falling behind. Wozniak is creeping closer, but there's still quite the gap. But remember, 30 points from the balance. Harmony 16, 20, Four and 16. <laughs> this makes it super close again. And the last impact is going to be balance. Traumaton has a very bad balance. 4, 30 once again. 0 and 8. So Zuhoof will take Traumaton. Wozniak does not take Eske yet. But there's Bill Gates and he will take him indeed. 287 versus 282. Wozniak doing yeah, what we maybe thought impossible. Um... There was quite a big gap between these two before the impacts and before all of that. Uh, but uh, Wozniak does it. He was behind, but with two input of balances for 30 points, a great input of technology, and uh, in the end, his uh, points from Bill Gates make it so that he will be able to win this match. Whereas Eske, who also played really, really well, had a great game. Uh, great colony game, always fun to see. Uh, military game and culture game. He had it all in this one. And then he has a hoof and Traumaton couldn't keep up. They had some problems, uh, but they fought bravely between each other. And in the end, a hoof able to take it, even though the war came from Traumaton. Maybe Traumaton uh, with the 8 extra from, from uh, Pierre. Uh, you can do the math. Maybe that would have done it if he had use Pierre correctly. Um, but yeah, congratulations to Wozniak and let's take a quick look at their group now. And here we can see that Wozniak also took the group win. Very close to Eska. Um, like we saw in the match, <laughs> very very close. So that match actually decided who of these two would win the group. And since they're in the lower bracket, I think only Wozniak will make it to the next group and Eska sadly won't uh, and of course, the Hoof and Traumaton also won't make it any further. This will be how um, uh, this will be all that they will reach, which is also really commendable. Going up to the fifth uh, group stage, something I wasn't able to achieve. So congr congratulations to all of them making it so far, and good luck, Wozniak, continuing on now in the next stage. This is uh, all for this one. Uh, there's probably a lot more great games. You can watch uh, the channel of Weidenbaum and of Danio. Both of them have posted matches of their groups. They are still in. Um, and I will probably also cover more, some of more games. You can, if you know a great game, um, comment under the video which one I should cover. Um, and maybe also uh, in the Discord. I got this one from the Discord server. Thank you for, thank you to, uh, who was it? Oh, yeah, Ipogi. Thank you to Ipogi for uh, mentioning this game in, in the Discord. Um, I saw that mentioning and thought, yeah, I will cover it. And it was worth it. Very great game. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys for the next one.